Right, part nine. So, as with the uh, elements of South Asian admixture uh, in the last, this uh, is mostly uh, Mediterranean stock, but in the regions uh, where these individuals are from, Sub-Saharan African mixture is from 10 to 30 percent. And in the case of the last individual I'll show, uh, it's even higher, it's up to 40 percent in that region. Okay, so first I want to present this fellow here. This fellow is a very good example of the Mediterranean type. He's a North African Arab and he's from the tribe of Al Hasa in Cyrenaica. So uh, that's uh, coastal eastern Libya. And he, uh, yeah, he's said to be a very good example of the nomadic Arabs of North Africa. So you can see he's got those uh, Arabic features the, uh, the prominent victory nose, long face. Moving on. We've got uh, two individuals who are said to be of the Neolithic type that invaded Europe over the Straits of Gibraltar. The first you can see here, he's from the tribe of Beni Iteft uh, along the coast of northern Morocco. And yeah, you can see he's a very good, uh, he's uh, close to the Atlanto Mediterranean types that I showed uh, priorly. And then this fellow here, you can see again the uh, Cro Magnon influence. And this is because this fellow is uh, a Berber. He's a Shlu Berber uh, from southern Morocco, this one, so from uh, from the Sous uh, region. And now we move on to a Kabil. It's a moderately t tall and long-faced Kabil. Kabil are another uh, interesting people group to study, uh, similar to the Berbers. And now we move on to the less typical two examples. Uh, this, this example here is an oasis dweller from Kaga, which is an Arabic-speaking uh, region. It's the Libyan desert, so it's uh, southern Libya. And uh, Siwa and Aujla nearby apparently also uh, contain strong elements of this population, and those are Berber-speaking. Uh, and this fellow is extremely long-headed, uh, extremely delicate cephalic. He's got a very narrow and a very long head, uh, but he's also got a uh, very low head which again could be negroid admixture because negroids tend to have very low vaults uh, but very long skulls. Moving on to this fellow, uh, he says this is a good, very good example of the Mediterranean character of this people but this is the one I was, where I was saying where the negroid admixture is even higher uh, and you can see that there's influence there. Uh, he's a uh, Barzinat uh, Tareg from the Timbuktu uh, region, so Timbuktu again is there uh, in Sahara is a very wealthy uh, capital there. And uh, yeah, it's so he says he's a very good example of the Mediterranean character of the Saharan Berber.